How to use WordPress block editor for beginners step-by-step -step tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with the WordPress block editor. So let's get into it. Now to get started, first you need to head on over to WordPress, open up your WordPress website and just click on edit page or you can click on new. I want to build a new blog post and I will be using the native WordPress editor. You don't need anything special to get started with, you know, WordPress or writing blogs. So you can just use the native blog editor, which is still amazing and very effective. So you guys can see over here, I have opened up the native editor and I can start writing my blog. And then we have the blog section over here. So I have this blog post that I just wrote um, via ChatGPT. It's just a simple little blog post. And I'm just going to copy and paste the basics over here. So I'm just going to paste that over here and I will add my title. And once I've added my title, I have my blog. So the first block is obviously a paragraph and you have the text, you have the background, the color, how you want everything to appear. So let's say in the background, I want to give it a skin color. You can choose each a different color for a different paragraph. So let's say first I have Paris France. I'm going to copy and paste this over here. And you guys can see this is like one section. So in my section over here, I'm going to remove this and on top, so these are two separate blocks. Now I will take the top one and I will just make the text bold. Then I can go into the block editor on the right side of my screen and you can choose the foreground how you want it to appear. So let's say I want Paris, France in a pink text. Then I can choose my background. Let's say I want it to be gray or black. You can choose whatever background you want. So let's say I want it to be this gray color. And I want it to be a gradient. So let's say I want it to be a gray gradient. And I just want it to be like so. This is going to be our first little gradient. You can also have gradients like these that are added in the default section right down below. So I think I'm going to do that. Now below that, I'm just going to click on my block once more. You guys will see the typography, what size you want it to be. So because this is, you know, the title or like a section I want it to be in medium size, then you also have your dimensions where you can alter the padding and the margins as well. And you also have additional CSS you can add. Now in the dimensions, if you want to move it from this side a little, uh, often people want to do that. You can also just do that simply by clicking on that, going into our dimensions and you can click on padding. And you can add or remove padding so we can see our paddings like so and you can move it around a little to you know edit the appearance you can also choose to add it to the right or the left however you want like so so let's say i wanted to add it to the left like so so once i have my block ready let's say i want to change the appearance of the paragraph down below so what i will do is i will click on the background and let's say i want it to be pink and I want it to be gradient, I can click on the uh, multiple different gradients that we have over here. And you can choose whatever you want. Let's say I just want it to be a nude gradient or let's say I want it to be a soft gradient like this. And for that, I can just click on the colors that I want to add. So I'm just going to select a very light pink shade and I will add another color by a simple click like so. So just like that and then I will add one final color in our background because I don't want purple hues, I just want it to be pink like this. So just like that I have a cute little block uh, ready and if you want to replicate the style, so let's say I want all of my blocks to be like this, I can simply click on the block over here and you will see these uh, items appear. So you will click on these three dots and once you click on these three dots you can actually click on duplicate. And you can duplicate it and move it down. And once you move, you know, the block down, you can go on ahead and edit it however you want. If you want to remove a block, you can just select it and then choose to delete it as well. So you can click on remove paragraph and it will be removed. Now, let's say I want to enter my second section. But before that, I want to add, you know, some space because I want my blocks to be separated. 
So for that, you will just click on this plus icon over here and you guys can see you have browse all. So once you click on browse all, the blocks on the left side will appear. These are all the different kinds of blocks you can add other than just basic texts. So over here, you actually have a simple little, you know, section and you have design blocks, you have columns, groups, more. And you have rows, page break, separator. So I maybe just want to search for... You're just going to search for space and this block is called spacer and this will just provide space between the different blocks that you add this can be a great way to make sure that your text is not over designed and there is relative amount of space uh you know present for the viewer to uh, actually enjoy you reading your blog or to read you know your post or your page whatever it might be now after that, let's say instead of entering, you know, text, maybe I want to add videos. So for that, I can just click on add block and I will click on browse all, or you can directly access this by clicking on the top left. And once you uh, click on that, you will see a different block. So once you scroll down, you have image, gallery, audio, media and text, files, covers, video. If you want to embed your own video, uh, you can upload that as well. But if you scroll down over here, you can actually directly embed it from YouTube. If you are, you know, going to embed it from YouTube, you're just going to enter that over here. So I'm just going to take a short video on Paris. I'm just going to copy and embed this video over here like this. Click on embed. And now you will be able to see the embedded video added to your little blog using their blog editor on WordPress. So I'm just going to wait for this to be added. It might take a couple of seconds for it to appear. And you guys can also put this indented on a specific paragraph. So let's say I don't want it to occupy the entire space. So for that, you can click on uh, the formatting and you can click on this, click on columns and you can columnize your specific section as well and present it in a specific column. So that is totally up to you. I personally don't like it columned. I want it to be on the center. So I'm just going to get our block back like so. I will click on paste, embed it. And now right below that, I can enter more sections. So you also have things such as your TikTok, uh, Amazon, Tumblr, whatever social media links that you might want to add or you might want to embed ads via your social media or promote affiliates. You can do that easily. Plus, you also can add your at the end of each page. If you have like a pop up store or any physical location, you can go into your block editor. And once you scroll down, you actually have map embeds as well. So you can directly embed your map over here as well. So once you have, uh, you know, added your entire blog post via these simple blocks, you will click on publish and your page will be ready to be published on WordPress. So that is how simple and easy it is to write effectively or build effectively on the blog editor of WordPress. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.